Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do division. Let's revisit. Fill in the blanks. There are 10 apples equally on the 5 plate. Means there are 2 apples on each plate. Total 5 plates. On each plate there are 2 apples. Like here. There are total 18 apples equally on 3 plate. 6 apples. Clear? That means 18 divided by 3 that is equals to 6. Clear? Next is properties of division. When we divide any number by 1, it gives the quotient as the number itself. Like here, 2376 divided by 1, quotient is 2376. Next, when we divide any number by itself, it gives the quotient as 1. That means if we divide a number by the same number, the quotient is 1, like here. Next, when we divide 0 by any number, it gives the quotient as 0. Means 0 divided by 2376 will give you 0. But we cannot divide any number by 0. That is meaningless. Next is division of tens, hundreds or thousands without remainder. While dividing a number with zeros on the rightmost by ten, hundred or thousand, we remove ones, twos and three zeros from the rightmost of the number. Like here, 40,000 divided by 10. That means in divisor there is one zero. So, start from right hand side and remove one zero. So, answer is 4000. Here, 40,000 divided by 1000, three zeros start from the right hand side, remove three zeros. Answer is 40. Clear? Next, while dividing a number by 20, 30, 40, and so on, we remove one zero from the most of the number and divide the remaining part by 2, 3, 4, and so on. Like here, 6400 divided by 40. So, first what we will do? 1 0 is there. So, we will remove 1 0 from here. 640 divided by 4 gives you 160. Clear? Next, while dividing a number by 200, 300, 400, we remove 2 0 from the most of the number and divide the remaining part by 2, 3, 4 and so on. Like here, 4800 divided by 600. 2 0, so cut 2 0 from here. 48 divided by 6 gives you 8. Next is division by tens, hundreds, and thousands with remainder. When divided by 10, the remainder is the right at the ones place. Quotient is formed by the remaining digits. Like here, if we are dividing by 10, that means the digit at ones place is R remainder like here 5 and rest of the digit that is 346 that is our quotient clear next when we divide by 100 the remainder is formed by the digit at tens and ones place quotient is formed by the remaining digit like here we are dividing by 100 so the digit at ones and tens place 60 that is our remainder and 156 that is our quotient when divide by 1000, the remainder is formed by the digit at 100, tens, and 1's place. Quotient is formed by the remaining digit. Like here, we are dividing by 1000, so digit at 1's, tens, and 100 place. That is our remainder and 69, that is quotient. Clear? Next, practice corner 6.1. Fill in the blanks. 3 divided by 3. As we know, if we divide a number by the same number, the quotient is 1. So, here the answer is 1. Practice all the questions of this exercise. We will move to next topic. Next is division of large numbers. Division by a one digit divisor. So, here we have to divide 7254 by 3. So, this number, just come and divide karna hai, that is known as dividend. So, we will put the dividend 
inside the bracket and write the divisor outside. So start from the left most digit. Here it is 7. 1000 ki place pe hai. So 7 can be divided by 3. So we have to find a number in 3 stable which is either equal to 7 or just less than 7. So 3 to the 6 subtract karenge we will get 1. Next number note down it become 12. 3 4 is a 12. So we will write 4 here and 12 here. Subtract karenge we will get 0. Next number that is 5. 3 1 is a 3. Subtract it we will get 2. Next number it become 24. 3 8 is a 24. So subtract karenge 0. So 2480 that is our quotient and 0 is our remainder. Clear? Next is relation between multiplication and division. When we multiply two numbers, we get the product. The product can be divided by its factor. For example, 4 into 3, that is 12. Product is 12. Here, 4, that is divisor. 3, that is quotient. And 12 is dividend. Agar hum division ki baat karte hai. So 12 divided by 3 gives you 4 and 12 divided by 4 gives you 3. So 12 ko agar 4 se divide karenge. So 12 become our dividend, 4 is our divisor and 3 is our quotient. Clear? Multiplication and divisions are inverse operation. Means ek dusre ke opposite hai. For every multiplication fact, we have two division fact. So here, 7 into 8 that is 56 or 8 into 7 that is also 56. So division factor 56 divided by 8 gives you 7. 56 divided by 7 gives you 8. Clear? Next is practice corner 6.2. Check your answer by multiplication fact. First is 27 divided by 9 that means 9 into 3 that is equals to 27. Clear? So this way we can check. So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is division by a two digit divisor. Division by a two digit number is the same as by a one digit number. Like here we have to divide 6385 by 56. So steps Divisor is a two digit number, 56 is a two digit number. So we will take first two digit in the dividend. Start from the left, 63. So 63 divided by 56 one time. Subtract karenge, remainder is 7. Note down the next digit, that is 8. It becomes 78. Now we will divide 78 by 56. So, 78 is greater than 56. So, we can divide 78 by 56. So, one time ho jayega. 56 subtract karenge 22. Here, remainder is 22. Bring down the next digit. That is 5. It becomes 225. Now, 56 goes 4 times 224. Subtract karenge will get 1. So, here 1 is remainder and 140 that is our quotient. We can also check our division. What is the method? Quotient multiplied by divisor plus remainder that is equal to dividend. So here quotient 114 multiplied by 56 plus 1 that is 6385 that is our dividend. That means our answer is correct. So this way we can check our division. Next is practice corner 6.3. Divide and check your answer. 72 divided by 25. Both are two digit number, dividend and divisor. So 25 to the 50. Subtract 22. 22 is less than 25 and no more digits left. So it's our remainder this is our quotient now we can check our answer 
25 dividend multiply by quotient plus remainder so 50 plus 22 that is equals to 72 72 that is our dividend so it should be equal to dividend that means our answer is correct so practice all the questions of this exercise next is multiple intelligence what has three feet but can't run find each quotient and remainder then use the order to solve the riddle by filling the blanks at the bottom so what we have to do first we'll divide these number 40 divided by 10 that means 40 divided by 10 that means that is equals to 4 clear the quotient is 4 and remainder that is equals to 0. So our first letter is C. Like this you will divide the number, find the quotient and remainder and decode the answer and find the proper number for that and find the answer of riddle. Clear? Next word problems. The cost of 9 kg apple is rupees 1125. What is the cost of 1 kg of apple? So, 9 kg apple's cost is rupees 1125. We have to find the cost of 1 kg apple, so we will divide it by 9. So, answer is 125 rupees. That is the cost of 1 kg apple. Clear? Next is practice corner 6.4. Solve the world problems. How many table can be purchased for rupees? 1,59,300. If the cost of one table is rupees 675. So, what we'll do? 1,59,300 divided by 675. So, how do we total cost? Ko? Cost of one table so divide karenge. Answer is 236. That is the number of table can be purchased in 1,59,300 rupees. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is unitary method. The cost of the packet which contain 12 pants is rupees 72. So, you needed to pay me rupees 48 because I want 8 pen. So, how much should I pay? I have to pay rupees 48. How? How did the shopkeeper calculate? Well, the shopkeeper used the unitary method, the method of ones here. First, we'll find the cost of one pen. How? Cost of one pen that is equal to 72 divided by 12. That is rupees 6. Now I know the cost of 1 pen, I can find out the cost of 8 pen. That is 6 into 8, that is rupees 48. This method is known as unitary method. In this method, first we will find the cost of 1 article and then whatever is asked to us. Let us take an example to understand. The cost of 5 oranges is rupees 45. What is the cost of 1 orange? So, cost of 5 orange that is 45. So, 1 Q 45 divided by 5 that is rupees 9. The cost of 1 orange is rupees 9. So, when the cost of many article is given to you and you have to find the cost of 1 article, you will divide. So, cost of 1 item that is equal to total value divided by number of item. That will give you the cost of 1 article. Clear? Next is practice corner 6.5. Solve the following problem. If the cost of 5 liter of oil is rupees 270, find the cost of 9 liter of oil. So, first we will find the cost of 1 liter of oil. That is equal to 270 divided by 5. Is cost of 1 litre oil that is rupees 54. Now 
we can find the cost of 9 liter 54 multiplied by 9. that is equals to rupees 486. So, here we have used the unitary method. So, practice all the questions of this exercise, move to next topic. Next is social emotional learning. Each type of fruit to worth a different value. The value of its all single digit 0 to 9. Study the mathematical sentence to figure out the value of each fruit. Write the value under each fruit. So, hint is given, put in number and see which one fits. Which fruit has the greater value and which has the smallest value. So, we have to make the different combination number which fits here. Suppose the cost of one orange that is 4 rupees. So, 4 plus 4 that is equals to 8. So, here the orange cost 4 rupees and total is 8. So, that means apple cost 2 rupees, 1 apple. So, here it is for 8, 8 divided by 4 that is equals to 4. Clear? Here 8 divided by 4 that is equals to 2. Here the cost of 1 apple is 2 rupees. That means the cost of 1 orange that is equals to is 4 or it represent number 4. We can write like it represent the value 4. Clear? Apple 2, mango 8. This is how we will make the combination and we can answer the question which fruit has the greatest value? Mango and the smallest value that is apple. Clear? Next is multiple choice question. Take the correct option. How many sevens are there in 56? So, to find that 56 divided by 7. 7 eights are 56. That means there are 8 seven in 56. So, B is the correct answer. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions of this chapter. Here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now, you have to practice it.